Charlie looks to me for positive reinforcement through the use of treats. There are exceptions to that rule. Dr. Crow. It's very important for a service dog to have a veterinarian bond so that when they come in, they're comfortable, they're happy, and they're much easier to treat. And it makes it where nobody else feeds the dog except for Stacy and the veterinarian, and that would be me. assistant dogs, diabetes alert dogs, seizure alert dogs, seizure response dogs, psychiatric service dogs, autism support dogs, and allergy detection dogs. Service dog Charlie, he performs multiple tasks, mobility, hearing, and seizure support.
dogs are not required by law to wear capes in public. Capes are more for the public than for the service dogs and the handlers. In some cases, like Charlie, however, he has a mobility service dog vest, which helps me keep my balance, so he wears it functionally. So just know if you see a dog out in public with a handler that's not wearing a cape, he might, in fact, be a service dog. Actually, 
Charlie gets to play all the time. Hey, where are you headed today? I think New York City. What about you? I'm going to Orlando. Hmm. I noticed you have a dog. Does he actually sit in the seat? This is your captain speaking. Thank you for joining us on Flight 160. Would you like something to drink? Actually, Charlie sits at my feet. So where we normally put our bags underneath the seat in front of us, that's where Charlie goes. Oh, cool. Welcome aboard. The flight attendants will be up shortly.